Hello, traders. There is an unknown force that a lot of traders don't think about, don't talk about, and um, because of that, you're leaving out a lot of alpha. What is that? That is gamma hedging and delta hedging. Now, a lot of people are going to see that term and just be immediately allergic to that term. They're going to say that's boring or useless or whatever, or you can't implement it. You actually can. And I'm going to show you guys how you can use this indicator to legit predict where people are going to buy or sell Bitcoin with uh, basically pinpoint accuracy. Okay. So as you can see today, we are talking about the net delta exposure by strike. So what you're going to want to do is set your days till expiration till very um, low. So I have this set to about a week out. Now, what I want to highlight is look here. There is a bunch of open interest on the August 4th contract. Why does that matter? Well, all of it's concentrated at the 30,000 strike. Now, when something like this happens, you need to do a deeper dive into really what's going on here. And that's what I did, and that's what I'm going to reveal to you guys. So what net delta exposure is, it's very simple. It is just the open interest of calls uh, on the August, on you know all these contracts, the open interest of calls at the 30,000 strike times the delta at the 30,000 strike um, minus the overall amount of put open interest at the 30,000 strike times the delta of the 30,000 strike. And that's going to get you your net delta exposure. This indicator is going to basically tell you how much market makers have to hedge when they sell you options. Okay. So now what we're going to be looking at is Deribit metrics right here. You can see on August 4th, there are actually a whopping 3,781 call contracts expiring at, three, at 30,000. Now, a lot of these call contracts are going to be market makers who are short, who are selling those call contracts. Now, what does that mean? And, and, and you know, what, what does that matter? Well, when market makers sell options, what they have to do is something called delta hedging. Delta hedging is when you use longer short futures in order to hedge your um, short call or short put. Now, here is really what that looks like. Let's simulate what all, what all of this matters if price were to go to 29,800. What would happen and how can I get you a, you know, result or, or how much, you know, things will change? Uh, and, and here it really is. So look at this volume right here, 3,445. How I got that is I did the amount of call open interest minus the amount of put open interest. And that gets you a volume of about 3,445. That means that there's that, that's basically the net open interest at that strike price. Now volatility I checked was about 30%. Day select expiration, everything else is correct. And expiration price, exercise price, of course, 30K. So let's go look at the change and really what this means for Bitcoin. Currently, Bitcoin's at 29,300, uh, and the delta is about, you know, negative 915. This is saying negative 979. It's fine. Look what happens if price goes to 29,800. The negative delta would raise to minus 1521. What does that mean? Well, that means that if price were to suddenly just teleport to 29,800 or just to go up right now at this current time, then what would end up happening is market makers wouldn't want to or feel like it. They have to. They have to hedge. And the amount of hedging would be about five to 600 Bitcoin. So what that means, guys, is that if price were to begin to rise past these highs or just up to here, that would force a lot of options market makers to legit be forced to buy. Okay. So you can use this to essentially predict inflection points or, or price points where a lot of buying or selling would occur. So how can we put this into a much simpler strategy? Well, if you want to skip all the extra steps, all you could see is that if there's a bunch of open interest at one strike price and it's expiring kind of soon. That will have a very large impact on the price of Bitcoin. What's going to end up happening is the closer that the underlying price of Bitcoin gets to 30,000 in, in this example, the more that option market makers are going to be forced to buy. And you can calculate the exact amount quite easily, actually, by doing the process I just did here. You can see it kind of sticks out like a sore, th uh, like a sore thumb. If we go to farther out contracts, there's going to be even more open interest, but I wanted to just keep it on one um, level. So that means that if price were to go to, you know, 29,800, we'd have minus 1521 delta. So that's, you know, forcing market makers to buy about 550 Bitcoin. Now, if price were to go from 29,800 to 30,300, there would be about minus 2100, which means that market makers would be forced to buy in their 600 Bitcoin. Now, the crazy thing about this is this is all coming from just one strike price at one expiration. Okay. And where a lot of market makers on Del on Deribit are going to be hedging is going to be on Deribit. 
So what you're going to see is a lot of spikes, more specifically on Darabit. Do you guys see just how spikish all of this is and how sporadic all of this volume is? That's because of all of this forced delta hedging, okay? And if you want to get even more you know, particular, we could even look at the August 4th contract where people might actually be using that to, to hedge. Now, this is the contract that would expire at the exact same time as the option contract of um, August 4th. So I will bet you that if the price of Bitcoin begins to float up to here, this contract will see a surge in buying. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a ton, ton, ton of buying. And that's really just the power of Delta hedging. So how do we use this as an overall strategy? Well, let's do a new example. Let's go all let's go way farther out, like two months out. What we see here is that uh, still it's the 30,000 strike that has a bunch of net Delta exposure, as you can see right here. There's also a lot more call open interest than put open interest. Now, what that means is that if price rises, there's going to be more people forced to buy than if price falls, that people will be forced to sell. The reason that is, is because anyone who is short a call contract, they need to delta hedge or already be in a um, contract where they can't be liquidated. Because I've traded on Deribit, and if you do not delta hedge when you're just naked short a call, they will delta hedge for you. They will buy futures, buy, you know, close part of your position, essentially buying Bitcoin so that you don't get liquidated. So this is an impact of the market that people just don't think about. And once you understand the process, it's really not too hard to make a decision based on it. For example, right here, this is making me very, very bullish, especially this is making me think that a breakout trade could be in order. If we begin to just go above this high right here, I think we're just going to go much, much higher because we're going to be getting so many option market makers that have to hedge. And when they hedge, Bitcoin's just going to fly. OK, and you can use the, uh, this tool right here to like look at, you know, open interest by uh, strike price. This one is saying that September 29, there's a ton at um, around here. Where is it around the 30,000, which would be right here and higher? Yeah. So this one has 3,767 calls. When price rises or falls, there is going to be a lot of guaranteed volume in that direction. So that's why whenever you're curious, it's not uh, of price like wicking high or wicking low like this and this and then secondary sell offs and all this crazy buying. It's not just because of stop losses and take profits. I mean, stop losses and liquidations. It's actually also because of option dealers who have to hedge their contracts. If someone's short, they got to cover at some point. So this is a tool that you can use to pretty much just estimate how much Bitcoin buying or selling there will be. Again, if there was a bunch of open interest in puts, like let's say there's a bunch of you know puts at lower prices that have a lot of open interest, well, then that would mean that there could be a lot of forced selling if price were to go lower. But essentially, what you need to do is this. Go look at the open interest by strike, by strike price here with relevant times. Once you find a um, something that looks like it has a bunch of net delt exposure like this one of negative 1000 just know that once bitcoin begins to climb up it's going to have a lot of force buying okay and you can use that to make a breakout trade or just a long bitcoin with a you know positive ev there's a lot of more complex ways you can do that like this or you could just eyeball the net delta exposure by strike and say huh looks like there's gonna be a lot of liquidation uh, liquidation stop loss uh, kind of price movement when price gets closer to 30,000 because of just how much these option market makers have to hedge. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want more complex kind of cool stuff like this with finding the underbelly of the market and how to beat it, you can join my discord below and you and I can have a much greater conversation about stuff like this. So with that, watch the market makers, watch the option dealers delta hedge, then go front run them. Bye-bye.